Now that's a kill zone right there, guys. That is a kill zone. You put a, a shotgun turret up there, like maybe in that corner, and it is just gonna freaking destroy. It's gonna destroy. Ooh, 60 minutes yeah all right what's up zombie slayers this is kg48 and welcome to a great now my webcam's all blurry hold on let's fix the webcam fix the webcam seriously webcam fix yourself that's better what's up zombie slayers i'm leaving that all in what's up zombie slayers this is kg48 and welcome back to my let's play for seven days to die off of 17 vanilla Hype train! You know, if, if people come here for the first time, they're not going to know what the hell I'm saying. I'm saying hype train, and I'm yelling it, but I'm putting my hands over my mouth so it doesn't blow out your eardrums. All right, and why is this a hype train? Well, because, guys, I am live right now on Twitch. I've turned off all the bells and whistles. We just have the, the webcam and a couple little things down there, but you're not going to hear any crazy bloop, 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 bloop when people donate bits or anything. And, um, you know, we're going to be recording here. We're going to be doing a special hour long episode i'll probably be streaming for about two to three hours and i will be recording an hour of it all right so um i'm not really sure what we're gonna do today it's probably gonna be a split episode we'll probably do some building and then i think we're gonna do some uh probably some questing i think might be the way to go let me catch you up to speed on what i got going on here because this is just one big cluster f okay i mean this is a nightmare i've got it all straight in my head but that doesn't help you guys. I mean, you don't know what the hell you're looking at right now. I mean, like, you know, let's face it. This is some crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, I should be able to grab that, right? Yeah, so you see, I can grab that. So one of you guys gave me the unbelievable idea to use poles. Now, I didn't use poles, but I'm using these things. And the reason these things are nice is because they're not centered. They're actually offset. But I can put the electric fence on them and you see the electric fence still sticks in the side of the pole and it allows me to repair from a lot higher than I would be able to normally. Now, normally I'd never be able to reach that, right? But check this out. Now, I, well, actually I could reach, wow. Dude, how can I reach out from so far? That's incredible that I can still reach out. I mean, actually, I probably wouldn't need to have it in the pole. But anyway, I do like this setup, so we're gonna go with it. So let me just go ahead and repair that and pick it up. See right here, I wouldn't be able to pick it up. But right there, because it's halfway in the wood, I can pick it up. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I was using these, um, I don't know what these freaking things are called. Flagstone one quarter T centered. One, wait, those aren't, well, they kind of are centered. They're not totally centered. They're, they're on the side of the block, but the thing in the middle is actually centered. So I guess technically they are centered. Uh, we're going to replace this with some good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and break this out. Also, I'm going to break this like bottom part off. I don't like being this low to the ground. So we're going to go back up to the top. I think it'll be freaking phenomenal. And um, I need to decide something else up there. But we're going to worry about that later. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and put up some of, these, uh, some of these blocks here. And on face. Nope, that's not going to work. Advanced. Come on. Give me what I need. 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 Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, it took freaking long enough. Um, I'm going to let you guys know, watching this on YouTube and Twitch, I'm sorry if I come off obnoxious today, but I'm extremely hyped. I am going to see Endgame tomorrow. Oh, my freaking Lord. I can't freaking wait. I'm so hyped. It's going to be bittersweet, though, because this is the end of the MCU as we know it. And it could be the end of the MCU, period, because I am not in love. Well, who's going to be left? I don't know. We probably shouldn't talk about it because of spoilers. But just let's just say I'm going to see Endgame, and it's going to be freaking phenomenal. You put any spoilers, you're getting banned off the channel. Um, we're not playing games here. All right? Well, actually, I am. I'm playing Seven Days to Die, but I think you know what I'm saying. All right, so let's go ahead and put this down. You can see right there it's upside down, and that is beautiful. All right? Now, this is going to be all blocked up in here, so I'm not going to be able to simply walk around out here so we need to figure out a way to grab this hold on we need to figure out a way to grab this electric fence and get it on the inside okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make uh, i don't know probably like right around here on all four corners or something i'm going to make like ways to get up there i was de debating actually digging out underneath this entire base and just making like an underground like um 
I don't know, like a bunker part of it. And then like just using that to get from spot to spot. But I'm very concerned about digging zombies. So, uh, yeah. So for now, we're just going to make a little uh, staircase up here. Nothing too crazy. Just a way to get up here um, and get inside. All right. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take our wonderful, wonderful wire tool. Wire tool. And we're going to grab that. And then we're going to come up here. You can walk pretty far away um, from this thing, but if you walk too far away, it will eventually break the uh, cable. So what you do is you come down here, and then I made a nice little area right here. You can, actually, can I do this? No, you see, I can't do this from up here because, look at this, this is all red. Like, just not going to work. So I have to, I have to have a way down here. Now, I did make the ladder here so the zombies can't get up. So if they do break in here, they won't be able to get up to me. So that would be nice. And right there, that has gone non-red. And now we need to get that on the middle one. And now it's red. And now it's non-red. And now it's red. And see, this is the tricky part. This is tricky dicky right here. I'll tell you. See? Uh, see, when it's red, you can't do anything with it. Hmm. I did this earlier. I don't really know how I did it, though. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, maybe ducking will help. Come on. So close. Ah! Come on, you son of a... Really? Now, I don't know. I don't know how I did this last time, actually. I'm a little confused now. Maybe I could jump and grab it? All right, guys, I finally got it. And um, this is how I got it. I just had to back up a little bit. So, right there. And there you go. Man, it is... That's... Oof, that is tough. That is tough. But look at that, man. Now, that is going to be devastating. Now, should I replace these with with um the long ramps the uh the wedges and stuff uh i need to know is there a is there a corner that works with the wedges that's what i need to know because the way the wedges are going to work um you know what let's just do the wedge wedges with wood and i'll show you exactly what people are talking about i do like the idea of wedges because wedges are are oh i can't make these that's right um i do like the idea of wedges because wedges are smoother and that'll make the zombies less likely to get stuck on these ramps. I don't think these zombies are going to get stuck on the ramps. Someone said use stairs. Someone said stairs are incredibly um, good down here. I'm going to not upgrade this at all today. And I want you guys to let me know in Twitch chat. And I want you to let me know in the chat on YouTube. What do you think? Wedges, stairs, or leave the ramps the way they are? And, and please, I'm very nervous about using stairs. If you think stairs are really... The way to go, please let me know if you've done it in your own world or if you just like heard it at a, at a friend's house or something. Uh, you know, I just want to make sure that it, I'm getting good information. Stairs, regular ramps, or wedges. And please uh, speak from, you know, personal experience. Not, like I said, something you heard at the bar or the bar. You guys are probably all like kids. But no, no actually, I think, I think I have a pretty uh, adult audience. But yeah, anyway, um, so there we go. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to open this up now. And we're going to take... I don't know why that was down there. And then we're going to go ahead and dig out. We can hop down here, right? Kind of. Uh, I don't really want to get stuck down here. Okay. And then we're going to take some a flagstone. And put that down. And we're going to grab some more flagstone. And put that down. And then we're going to... Yes, that is correct. I did that correct. Oh, we need more we need more electric fencing. What the hell am I thinking? I don't even know the electric fencing. Oh boy, oh boy, Cage. You are on a roll today, my friend. And you can see what I did up here. You know, I kind of brought everything up here. Um, this, I'm probably going to take out most of this ladder before Horde Night. Uh, the ladder is two blocks up off the ground, but I'm still nervous. Because if the zombies do figure out a way to get up that ladder, I'm in a world of hurt. Because <laughs> this whole thing's connected now, so... And that is going to be a problem. Uh, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to take the tripwire. And we're going to kind of bring this out here. And I think we're going to put down the tripwire. Then I'm going to go home and I'm going to make some more electric fence. And then, uh, yeah, then we're going to put that down. Um, so the tripwire goes behind. Like so. Okay. And then we'll put a couple more inside. Oh, come on. Come on, Cage, you freaking slow ass. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like that. 
So what I did in here is, I, if you could tell right here, I don't know if you could see it, but I raised the iron, the iron wooden bars, <laughs> the wooden bars, soon to be iron bars. I raised them up. And the reason I raised them up is because I want a full wall of reinforced concrete underneath here. And the reason I want a full wall of reinforced concrete underneath here is because if the zombies break in here, they could use this as a stepping stone to get up into my area. I think I talked about this last episode. All right. So I want this all the way up to the top. Now, in order to do that, I had to move the wooden bars up, which I did. And, you know, there's still plenty of room under here. So I just can't put the ladder down to the to the bottom, which is fine. Um, technically, that ladder probably shouldn't even be there uh, like it is because what I should do is my ultimate build. This ladder won't even be here like this because honestly, if the zombies break in here and get up to this level, I'm in I'm in trouble. But the thing is, without if the ladder's like this, then they can't get up here. They can't make that double that double block jump, and I can. So that's the idea. All right, let's get these uh, let's get these freaking trap things down. There we go. There we go. So I'm gonna now. I could easily hook these up from going around the. Where's my wire tool? Wire tool, there you are. I could easily hook these up by going around here, but I'm going to go up and around just because, you know, I want to, like, make sure it's going to work before I start, you know, reinforcing concrete and stuff, right? So what we'll do is we'll just grab this one. This should be pretty easy. I mean, I don't, I don't think this is going to be a problem, but you never know. You never know. That's one thing I learned at some point in my life. I don't remember when, but I know I learned it. All right, so you come down here. Duck, can't get there. It's the... It's the left one, right? Ew. Oh, this is even farther back. Oh, crap. This is going to be a problem. How did I mess this up this badly? Oh, I know how. I know how I messed it up that badly. So, here's the deal, guys. The tripwire does not take damage by activating. At least as far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong. And if I am, I'm going to cry because then I'm going to have to think of something different. But from what I understand, the tripwire does not take damage. Um, unless the zombies actually hit the post itself, they won't take damage. Like, you know, like, oh, you can't climb when you have... Oh, yeah, you can. Um, like, the electric fence, it damages the zombies. So the fun pimps say, if something's going to damage the zombies, the, the, it has to take damage itself. The tripwire is not damaging the zombies. So it should not take damage. So I can hook these up the opposite way if I so choose. Uh, no, I can't. I can't get to them. Oh, these tripwires are going to be a problem. Son of a... All right, guys. I think I got something that'll work. Um, I just hooked up the second tripwire. I'm going to hook up the next one now. So let's grab this. And we're going to go all the way up and around just to, you know, just to simulate how we're going to eventually need to do it once everything down below is locked up nice and tight. So we're going to come down here. There'll be a way to get down somewhere around here. All right. And then we just need to get... Did that break? That broke. Yep. I didn't hear it break, but it, well, obviously it broke. All right. So let's try that again. Yeah, it's going to be a little um, little difficult where I put the, the way down. I might just have to jump or something. I don't know. I don't know. I can't really jump, though. I mean, I could put some hay bales down there, probably. Um... Or I could, I'm going to make a walkway, you know, I'm going to make like a little walkway up, but I don't really want it anywhere near the tower. But it might, it's going to have to be because I can't go too far out, right? Like, let's see where this breaks. Yep, there you go. Damn it. So I'd have to make the tower like, I mean, honestly, the way, the, like the tower, like when I say a tower, what I'm talking about, guys, is something like this right here. A way for me to get up into the base. Um, man, it it's going to have to be really close, though, if I'm going to use it for this. This is a pain in the took us. All right, we're going to get it right. We're going to get it this time. So it's not really a big deal. It's just kind of annoying. Um, so let's just grab that. And let's do it right this time. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to do is we're just going to drop down right here. All right. Put this up here. And there you go. So what I did was I took the um, the two hatches out of the middle and I just put them on the sides. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I wonder... Hmm. 
All right, so if we're going to do this, we got to make sure we can hook. Well, the middle one goes from here over to there. So it doesn't really matter where the hatches are. Um, what about the middle one? Can I do the middle one? Let's do the middle tripwire again just to make sure we can do this before we start upgrading stuff, you know? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this right here, and that will be the ultimate build. So let's get back into that middle. Son of a biscuits. Oh, freaking pole. I can nerd pull out of here. Okay. So let's get in there and do the middle tripwire. If that works, then I think this setup is going to be okay. And I think I will be good to um, to start upgrading stuff. Okay. Middle tripwire. Someone was saying, why don't you just use the um, the motion sensor? It's because the, the, the motion sensor like has like a big cone. And it'll detect like zombies even though the dart traps are not right in front of the zombies, you know? The zombies could be over to the left and the dart trap on the right could be shooting with the, you know, it's just, it could be wasting a lot of uh, stuff. I think the tripwire is pretty cool. We just got to get it working properly. And uh, pressure plates are still laggy as hell, so I'm not going to be doing that. Okay, so this one, okay, so how are we, see now this is a problem. I don't. Oh, boy. Okay, so we are going to need three hatches. I th I'm pretty sure we're going to need three hatches here. Yeah, because we'd have to be all the way over here. No, actually, it's in the back. Yeah, we'd have to be, like, all the way over here and ducking. Actually, pretty close. Pretty close to be able to do it, but I think we're going to need that third hatch. Yeah, we're going to need a third hatch. So cornbread is quite tasty. It's pretty easy to make, and Mr. Jingles loves it. But I got to tell you, it's really annoying to eat it. Because you just got to eat. And, like, I think you could eat multiple times in a row. And the food, you know, stamina regeneration will stack. But I don't trust it. I don't trust it. So I'm just going to eat very slowly. And make sure I get all of the nutrients and goodness that comes with the cornbread. And there we go. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hook these up. Now these need to be hooked up backwards. Uh, so we're going to grab this one. Oh, we got to place them down first. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to craft more. All right, I will go home and craft some more. I'll probably do some mining too. I think I'm gonna do some mining, some more crafting. We come back here. We're gonna we're gonna finish up everything inside here and just get this all um, set up. We gotta put down the spikes too. So that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow morning. All right, guys, we're back and I lied. We're not actually gonna go back to the base um, in the morning. We're actually gonna go out and do some, you know, do some POI clearing. We're, we're actually what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go dig up some supplies. Um, I did mine like a. I didn't mine as much as I wanted to, but I did mine a bunch. I chopped down a bunch of trees. I took care of the farm. Looks like there's a bunch of zombies out there that needs their skulls cracked. So let's get out there and uh, accommodate them, you know? And then what we're going to do is we're going to go dig up some... Oh, but before we do that, let's um let's come up here and grab anything we're going to need because the buried supplies are in the, um, the snow biome. So uh, let's see what we got for the snow biome. Uh, the skis do anything for you? No, that's just the agility. Um, snow biome. Oh, there we go. Santa hat. Beautiful. Anything else for the snow biome? What do I have on my... Oh, yeah. Sweater. Okay. Is that the good one? Yeah, that's a good one. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's only nine. I should probably put on some pants, right? Oh, we already have pants. Okay, put the pants back. All right, that should be good. Also, I did make one last piece of armor. Um, it's the last piece of armor I don't have on my guy that's any good, so let's go ahead and put those boots on. Because I am getting the ever-loving crap kicked out of me every time I get hit. Also, I put a couple points into fortitude, and then I put a point into pain tolerance. And I'm, I'm going to go hard after pain tolerance, man, because, you know, use it... Alright, I want to say right off the bat, the sledgehammer is a weaker, um, is a weaker melee item than... Uh, than the club. I think it's weaker than the club. And you can disagree if you want. That's fine. I respect your disagreement. But it's just how I feel about it. I feel like the, the sledgehammer is weaker than the club. So because of that, I'm getting hit a lot. So I need to be able to take the damage. Right? So let's go ahead and mod this up as well. There we go. Now we got some purple leather boots. What's it a boot? I don't know. I love my Canadian brethren. Alright, so let's get going. Let's get going. Oh, yeah, I gotta make those spike knuckles at some point. Not today, though. Not today. Maybe after Horde Night. I would like to have a successful Horde Night where my base doesn't almost collapse before I start doing stuff like, you know, mess around spike knuckles. Uh, oh, here we go. Look at this. Where, how, what happened to her? 
Was she taking a nap? Did they get in a fight? That's weird. You're dead. You're not dead yet. There you go. You're next. See, I can't, I can't really swing this thing either. I swing this thing like once and I'm like, if it's a power attack, I'm, my stamina is toast. You know? Perks can help that, but it's not, it's hard, man. It's hard. I can power attack twice. They really don't want you power and attack. They really don't want you to use power attack. Because like, man, not only does it kill your stamina, but your stamina doesn't come back right away after it. Alright, so let's head this way. Oh, watch out for the shopping cart. I'm going to have to replace these blocks at some point with uh, with wedges. We'll get that done at some point, maybe. Uh, yeah, I really need to work on this base, too. We're going to work on the base at night, because we can, you know? Um, we still got all of day 20 and all of day 21. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm not going to be running three Horde Knights anymore, like, in a row, so... We should be okay. All right, so we're going to come right up to there, and then we're going to make a right. We need to hit that drop chest, too. Wait, airdrop? Oh, okay, so I must have marked an airdrop and forgot about it. So let's get the airdrop first. The spike knuckles are better than the club. I've heard the spike knuckles are badass. So I do want to use the spike knuckles, but I just, you know, I want to I want to feel safe in what I have going on with my horde base before I go mess around with spike knuckles. Because Spike Knuckles can be as badass as they want. They're not going to help me on Horde Knight. So. Alright. So. We should have this airdrop up here. Somewhere. I guess. I hope it's not one I got. I think I've gotten some airdrops before. And then didn't like. Take the marker away. So that might be the case here. I don't know. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know what? I don't see it. So if you don't see it, if you're this close, you'll see the airdrop. So this must have been an airdrop I already got. So let's go ahead and uh, take that off. Man, those are some cool looking buildings over there. All right, let's get going. Let's get to that. Uh, let's get to that that dig site, man. We got to dig up some treasure, people. It's gonna be. I don't. It's not gonna be treasure, but when I turn it in, I will get treasure, and that will be fantastic. I hope I have gas on me. I think I have some gas in here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There you go. Oh, really? I don't think so, pal. Not on my watch. That ain't happening. Must be freaking kidding me. Alright. We should be pretty close to that dig site now. Now, how easy is this, this going to be the dig site? How many points I have in Lucky Looter? That's the question. I don't think I have a lot. Like, maybe one point? Yeah, one point. Okay. So, this could be a little bit much, but you know what's cool? Um, it's snow, so it, it'll dig really fast. Not going to be a problem. Not going to be a problem. Oh, careful. This is not what you want to be doing, buddy. You don't want to be raining off the road like this, like an freaking evil Knievel. I got news for you, Cage. You're not evil Knievel. Just, you're just evil. Oh, look at that. Just bring me over to the water. Trying to get me to drive into the lake. See? See, I'm on to you, fun pimps. Thanks, unfun pimps. Am I right? Alright, where is this freaking thing? Okay, there we go. Alright, let's dig this thing up. I will show some of it, but not all of it, if I have any trouble finding it. Where are ya? Now, this is a, this is a pain in the ass place for a, um... For a treasure because it's on an angled hill which is always annoying because you can't really tell what level it's on and it you're gonna you're gonna be doing a lot more digging on a hill like this the nice part is that it's all snow so i'm just one-shotting everything so that's that's gonna make things a little bit easier hopefully oh, here we go we got the dirt now so should i just dig out all the snow see i don't know where it could be most of the time i have an idea of where the treasure is but when it's on a hill like this you just you just don't know all right, guys, look at this freaking monstrosity I had to do. My freaking stone shovel, bro uh, steel shovel broke. I had to make a, a stone one. Um, and look at it all I had to dig out. Unbelievable. But I finally did find it. Ugh, this better be a good reward. This better be a good reward. Also, we got an airdrop. So let's take care of these guys, and then we'll go get that airdrop. I would use my... my um, my mining helmet light, but I don't have it on. 
I don't have it on the Santa hat, so. Yeah, I, I can't really use the heavy attack with this thing. It's like, you know, you heavy attack once and twice and you're done. There you go. I don't remember it being that bad last uh, last season. It must be because I um I don't have enough perks in it yet. I don't know how the perks. Are. Well, uh, sex rex will definitely help. So, all right. So where was that airdrop? Oh God, really? Guys, you just know this airdrop's gonna have crap in it, right? We all know this, right? I mean, this airdrop's gonna be garbage. I need to get that gyrocopter. That's what I need. Actually, the gyrocopter sucks. It's slower. Than driving around. Because, like, getting into the air and getting back down, it's just, ugh. Don't like it. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> this is the, oh, God. You know what? Ooh, look at that house up there. How do you get up there? You know what? This is not what I need to be doing right now. I'll, I'll mark that airdrop. We'll get it some other time. Because that's just going to, you know, I, I got a horde night coming up. I can't be, I can't be dicking around with some airdrop that's going to have crap in it. I got to drive up a mountain to get to it. Just can't deal with that. Uh, let's do the other quest. I think that sounds pretty good. So we'll mark that and go there. Oh, it's actually on the way back. So what we'll do is we'll just meet up with this. We'll meet up at this road and then we'll make a right and then a left. Sounds good to me. If I could just find the marker. There it is. Come on, drive up this mountain. Do it. Do it. That didn't take too long. I just came right across here. Piece of cake. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I should probably take apart that car. Yeah, let's do it. Keep passing up cars, man. There's not there's not a lot of cars on Navsgate, not like random gen. So can't be uh can't be passing up a lot of cars. Just gotta make sure I don't fill up on stuff. Now I do have I do have quite a few points into um the scavenging skill, whatever it's called. Um so that's good. Oh boy. Okay, we're full. We didn't drop anything, did we? Oh, I can't even move. I can't even move. All right. So we want to put stuff away we're not going to need. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm going to want all the car stuff with the engine. Put away that. Don't even need that. Um, what else can I put away? Put away that. And you can't, you can't take um, the supply things out of your inventory, which I, I, I think is really odd. Right, we'll put all those up there to hell with it. Right, it's good enough. Let's finish up taking apart this car. Alright, come on. Give me something good. Give me some good stuff. There we go. What the hell is that? Oh, that's right. I threw out plant fibers. Because of course I did. Okay. Um, that, 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 that. Boom, boom. Away, 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 away. All right, there we go. Man, I am freaking loaded on stuff. Let's go and eat that cat food. And then let's eat the beef rations as well. All right, is that it? Okay, flagstone poles. We could probably get rid of some flagstone poles. Not that we don't need them, but. We just don't need them right now. I really don't want to do another drop chest, man. I'm getting sick of drop chests. Gonna be, gonna be frank. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, I should have taken apart that car and then did the quest. Ah, that was a mistake. Whatever. I'm not gonna take it apart anyway. Uh, you know what? You know what? Come over here, and I'm going to grab this and put the ammo in there. And then we're going to go ahead and put this on because it has the headlight. Should be okay with uh, with cold. Wake up, you lousy bag of bones. What, am I supposed to drop down there? <laughs> really? Is that, is that what I'm supposed to do? Well, let's think about this. Uh, I don't see any other option. Hmm. I don't like dropping down when I don't have a way back up. Okay. Careful. Careful. Shh. 
Which way are we supposed to go once we're down here? Oh, we're supposed to drop all the way down, aren't we? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm just, I'm just stalling at this point because I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it! Oh, my God. That doesn't look good. Can I put down some blocks there? I might be able to. Yes, I can. Wow. Okay, they screwed up on this one. Alright, so... Huh. See, I don't like this because I don't have a way out. Let's see what we got around the corner. Fucking skater punk! Oh, just one? Okay. Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Back into ninja mode. Oh, crap. Oh, ninja mode isn't working. Sit down. Tons of fun. There you go. What's up, Edgar? I just tried to power attack, but I didn't have enough stamina. Because it takes like a million stamina. Going loud with the shotgun. <laughs> nah. I think I'll pass on that. here don't like that but I'll take the ammo watch out for the glass somebody said if you walk over these things while crouching you don't like set them off what's up bro Oh god, there's three of them, and they weren't moving until I went over there. Okay. Whew. Stay focused. Stay focused. You see that bullshit he hit me on when he was on his way down? He didn't even swing. Man, I need more sexy Rex. I leveled up, right? Can I get more sexy Rex? Damn it. See, I gotta wait. I gotta save more points for this freaking strength attribute. Attribute. Alright, well. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do, uh, do that. And that. Okay. Anybody in here? Anybody around? I'm not seeing anybody in here. But they are just hiding. Because they're a bunch of douchebags. Oh. Yeah, that sneak arrow attack is not that good. <laughs> not with my skills. I think you have to put more points into it. Because that just got me hurt. Like... No reason. All right. What do we got over here? Oh, I like that. I like that. I don't like that. Just a little bit of gas. Really? Really, game? Really? Let's go ahead and 
couple bandages. And then we'll use this, and then we'll take a drink. Come on. And then we'll take a drink. And then we'll eat some cornbread. <laughs> because why the heck not? Oh! Damn you! Get the stamina up. I'm assuming those aren't ferals because they're not right in my face. Okay. You get up? Nah, she done. She's had enough of this bad medicine. What you got? Mmm. Not bad. Man, got a lot of water in here. Well, it's, they're lifting, man. They need to, they, you need to rehydrate when you're lifting, guys. So. Uh, da, 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 da. Not much I could do here. Use that. There we go. All right. Let's go upstairs. Uh, no, no, no. Got to watch our six. Actually, we got to watch our nine. Isn't the nine your left? I don't know. I was never in the military. Ugh, I'm out of stamina again. This thing is terrible. Got to get some perks, man. I've been spending so much time level, uh, you know, working on my base. I haven't been leveling that much. That's the thing. Nah, we're not going to leave. The thing is, I want to turn in the quests. If I continue doing the rest of the house, I might not get to turn in the quests. Should we just go loud with the guns? Oh, man. It's not, it's not smart. It is not prudent. Come on. Get out of that closet. Freaking ferals, dude. Well, you know what? That's why we have a farm. So. Uh, I know I have some more in here somewhere. There we go. I hate it when you can't close the door because it's locked. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, scrap. Doesn't make sense to scrap that. Uh, oh boy. I don't want to go outside. Okay, I went to E to close the door and I hit R by mistake, but it worked out. I'm telling you, man, rushing through these things is not smart. I just want people to be aware. I realize it's not smart. Oh, I remember this room. Shit. Oh, this is nice. Oh, he can't even jump while reloading. So I just saw a new strat that we might be able to use in these things. That we might be able to use in these uh, POIs. If you get a spot like this, Close the door, sit on this side, and hope that they beat on this side. I mean, that's pretty sweet. I did a lot of damage there. That was pretty cool. Okay. 
I'm being rewarded for playing like an idiot. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Alright, I'm going to pass up on the crappy loot and just get what I can quickly. Because I really want to turn in these quests before... Ooh, that's nice. Wait, what is that? Muzzle break. Uh, Reduce recoil. Cool. And that go I think that goes on the automatics. Do I have to actually break through that? I think I do. Oh. Oh. Wait, did I do that? <laughs> or did a zombie do that? Why am I getting cold? I'm not cold no more. No, I guess I did that. It was probably the double swing and I didn't notice. Alright, inventory. You and I need to have a long discussion. Um, but not that long because I'm recording. Uh, that looks better. Alright, we smoked this building. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we did. Alright, what you got for me? Ugh. What you got for me? Meh. Actually, yeah, no, actually that's good. Can I, um... Oh, hold on. Actually, that's really good. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Beautiful. All right, let's finish this stuff. Oh, I didn't notice I was a working stiff. I'm glad I looked. Okay. Probably not going to use motion sensors, to be honest. I mean, I don't know. I don't, ooh. I don't use blades, but that's nice. Can you put that on an axe? No, I don't have any room for it anyway. I gotta make a better axe. I'm kind of waiting until I make steel tools. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? We got everything in there. I might be missing a couple things here or there, but I'm, I'm basically getting almost everything. I thought I skipped some stuff. I guess I just skipped breaking uh, pictures. Yeah, all right, I got everything. All right, let's go turn in these quests. All right, guys, and I came to the trader in the south first, so hopefully we'll get to the one in the north uh, before he closes, but we'll see. Uh, what do you got? Uh, rocket launcher sells for a lot. Pipe bombs are useless. Explosions are completely crap in this game from what I understand. Uh, they don't really affect the zombies, like, at all. That's what I've been told. So I could do the rocket launcher to sell back, or I could take the... I'm going to take the health kits. I mean, that's a pretty easy choice. All right, what else you got? I'd like to finish up my Tier 2 quests before I move on to Tier 3. Uh, I'm not going to look at what he has to sell because I want to get to the other trader um, before... I want to get to the other trader before uh, it's too late. Turn in that other quest. Come on, bro, get on the bike. What's your deal? Man, this thing is a bitch to turn around. Get out of the way, cinder blocks! Yeah, 2300 dukes isn't bad. Not bad at all. Uh, so we're gonna go all the way. We're gonna make this the third... The third right. We gotta make the third right. Let's try to remember that. So I wouldn't normally drive uh, over the rough terrain like I just did, but, you know, we're... You know, we gotta get to this trader. We gotta get this done uh, before he closes up for the night. It's almost his bedtime. If he doesn't get his beauty rest, he gets really cranky. Okay. So what you got, dude? I'll see what this one's selling since um I do have some time. Here you go, friend. Uh wow, okay. Yeah, that's a bunch of crap. That is a bunch of crap. I mean that's really bad. I should just pick whatever sells for the most, sell it back. I mean the hunting knife is better than what I have. Fine, I'll take the hunting knife. Still, why do I still have tier one quests? All right, I'm gonna take a tier two quest because or a tier three quest because I'm the rewards are starting to be pretty disappointing. All right, so what you got, bro? Uh, I don't know if I want to buy those. 
duct tape? Yeah, let's buy the duct tape. Rebar frames? I can make my rebar frames, dude. Uh, I was I had the explosive bolts, but like I said, people said the uh, the explosions don't really work on the zombies the way they're supposed to, so that's not really worth it. Um, more seven six two, sure. Uh, da, 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 you got a bunch of crap, and your stuff sucks, dude. I wonder if I bought all the good stuff off them already. Yeah, that's expensive. Oof. Eh, I'm not going to do that. Cooling mesh? Yes, sir. Uh, military boots, uh, of course. Of course, because I just made the other boots. The other boots have mods in them, though. Do I really... Well, I'm going to buy the military boots anyway. If I don't end up using them, then that's fine. I'll just... Um, I'll scrap them for what they give you. Uh, yeah, we'll buy these. Oh, blade trap. Whoa, those are cheap blade traps. Hell yeah, I'll buy those blade traps. Oh, look, this guy's got an auger, and I don't have the money for it. And he restocks on day 22. Okay, well, now we've got something to go for. Because that, my friends, is unbelievable and unbelievably expensive. And I just bought a bunch of stuff. All right, guys, I am in the mine. Now, I should be at the base, working on the base. And we're actually going to go to the base pretty soon. But I'm in the mine for a reason, okay? And what people in the chat told me is that... The best way to make money, maybe I'll just name this, maybe I'll name that after this episode. Uh, the best way to make money, because this is going to get nerfed, so you better take advantage of it, is to make picnic tables. All right? Now, you might think, they sell for like, like a couple hundred each, and you might think, well, picnic tables, like, really? Picnic tables? But the thing is, they stack. A stack of 500 picnic tables sells for like, I think, 60,000 dukes. And you could theoretically sell three of those. Um, so that's what I've got going on. I've got some picnic tables in there. I think I made like six and they were they were like we were already worth a thousand dukes. So we're going to get that auger uh, probably next episode. But in this episode, I am going to finish up mining um, and then I'm going to go work on the base because we do need to get to work on that base. I mean, it's day 20 already. So um, definitely need to work on that base. But I want that auger and I want it bad because if I get the auger... Then that's one less thing I got to deal with in the um, intellect tree. Like, if I get the auger, uh, you know what? I'd still need intellect nine for the military gear. Um, I'd also like to be able to craft battery banks, to be honest. But chainsaws and augers were one of the reasons I wanted to go to intellect 10. Right? But now, uh, battery banks. Cha wait. Yeah, there we go. Military. Yeah. Uh, I still want to craft the military stuff. The thing is, I can always find military stuff, but it's going to be like, you know, who knows if I'm going to find what I actually need. Now, if I do find military stuff and I'm okay with it, I could I could just theoretically go to Intellect 8 and stay there. Maybe even Intellect 7. I'll have to look at that off camera, though. I don't want to look at that right now. I'm going to try and spend at least amount of points in the stupid uh, attribute tree of any of, of any of them as much as I can, because... The um, attribute tree... That's weird. Um, this sounds weird to me. Anyway, the attribute tree is... Uh, it's where you sink all your points into. That's the problem. So, that's kind of what I'm looking at now. And we just leveled up. What level am I? Level 3. Now, do we want to go in here for some reason? I don't think so. Uh, not there, not there. We already got pain. I like the pain tolerance, but I think I want to put the third point into this. And then I could start going more with Skull Crusher and this stuff. Or I could go more with pain tolerance. And, uh, well, just pain tolerance. Yeah. I'm going to go with this one. I want to get that Sex Rex. Oh, here we go. Sex Rex 4. That'll help. All right, guys. I just got done doing a bunch of mining. And, uh, I'm just making a bunch of forged iron. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, I'm not even missing Forged Iron. Wait, no, I am. I need Nails and Forged Iron, but uh, I think we're going to need Forged Iron more. It also takes longer to craft. Um, right here, we have 28 picnic tables, and that's about 3,700 dukes. So, uh, seven, we're about, what, 13,000 dukes away? All right, well. Also, I found a treasure map, so that's cool. So, I'm going to dig up a treasure tomorrow for sure. We'll have that 
uh, tomorrow's video is going to be about the uh, about getting the auger. We'll get it tomorrow for sure. Unless I forget, which I don't think would probably happen, but you never know with me. Uh, oh, yeah, we still have all these to sell. That's another uh, 2,000 Dukes. Yeah, cool. All right, so let's get over to the base, and let's uh, let's finish up this video doing some work on the base. We started at the base. We're going to finish at the base. Maybe we should get that airdrop. Wait, where is it? Uh, it's over here, yeah. I could probably get it, but I think we need to work on the base. Let's work on the base. Stay focused, Cage. Stay focused. Okay, so let's come on up here. And I think what we need to do is we need to get down the spikes now, at this point. That's what we need to do. So, the thing that sucks about using all that forged iron is we're not using it on spikes. Which is kind of annoying, but I, we do have 166 spikes already, which is a pretty decent amount. So that's cool. Um, and I also left all my stuff back at base because I am a stupid. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. I mean, S-M-A-R-T. All right, well, I went home and got the hammer, so it's hammer time again, I guess. All right, so let's do that and that and that. And then we need to copy a rotation. Did that go on the inside? How the hell did I put that on the inside? All right, there's some weird stuff going on in my world now. I'm starting to get a little nervous. Um, I didn't even think that was possible. Like, how did I put that on the inside? Weird. Weird. I just lost some stuff in the forge. Not a lot, but a few a few items. Um, a few items worth of iron. And then now that. Uh, it's weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. I come up here and grab this. And is there anything else I want up here? Probably, but I can't think of anything right now. So I'm going to leave it alone. It's starting to become light out. So let's go ahead and deal with the gamma. Okay. Take that. By the way, I bought a, I bought a knife when I had a machete. So I brought a knife to a machete fight. And I lost. <laughs> as I should. Man, I wasted... Not a lot of money, but I did waste money there. It's just... Nah. Nah. What else? What are you going to do? Sometimes you just have to throw some money away. Alright, there we go over here. And this one goes right here. And you go there, 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 and there. And we upgrade all you sons of bees. Do I have any steel on me? Yes, so I gotta be careful that I don't upgrade stuff to steel. Not that it really matters that much. I could just the only reason I don't like upgrading stuff to steel is not really because I'm wasting steel, although I am. Um, it's more that uh, uh, I don't like the way it looks. Like I mean, I like the way it looks when it's all steel, but if there's only one thing that's steel, then it looks kind of like crappy. You know, it doesn't match. So what I do is instead of like I was gonna actually break off steel last episode, but instead of doing that, I just decided to paint the block. Much, much better uh, idea. Okay. We still need to hook up the... I gotta finish this. Damn it. I, I can't do this this episode, though. I wanna, I, don't forget, guys. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Use ramps? Use wedges? Or use stairs? And please, only tell me if you've done it yourself. Like, I, I want to make sure this works properly. So, let me know what you guys think. Oh, uh, there we go. And you're looking good. Right? All the holes plugged up. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to break out the ones that are busted up. Because it's easy. And it'll save us concrete. And we'll break you out as well. Now, the reason we want to get all this concrete done is because I want to let it dry, you know? Don't want to, you don't want to really wait until the last minute with this stuff. Come on. Break it out, break it out. Tech Mike, thank you very much for the bits. Come on. Come on. Break. No, oh, this is taking forever. I probably should just upgrade this one to concrete. Well, I mean, it's not taking forever. That's a strong... It's a strong statement, but 
It's taking too long for me. Okay. There we go. Okay, and we go there. Man, this place got torn up real good. Okay, oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. I mean, it is flagstone, so... I'm pretty sure this stuff wasn't upgraded. Although it could have, maybe it was. I don't think it was though. Okay. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and grab the cobblestone and just upgrade the rest of this stuff. Also what I can do is I can drop off the uh, steel. So that way I don't wanna repair the, um, by the way, my chair keeps freaking moving around like it was doing last week. It's getting on my nerves. Um, yeah, I, I, if, I, if I don't want to like uh, re, like repair concrete when I have steel on me because then that, that's how stuff gets upgraded by mistake, and we don't want that, do we? Spoiler alert: we don't. All right, let's do that. That's not a lot of concrete. But, uh, that's not a lot of cobblestone, by the way. But hopefully, it'll be enough. See how much easier that is, dude. Do, do, repair, repair. I'll repair off camera to hell with that. Um, there we go. Oh, I should have broken that one out. Oh, well. You know what? I will break these out because these are just regular flagstone. Get out of here, flagstone. I'm getting kind of tired of eating that freaking cornmeal like that, man. I got to make some more uh, substantial meals, I think. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I could do that. There's no reason not to. I gotta get the the thing is the potatoes are the the potatoes are the real biatch in um in Nav's game because you know I only got one potato seed. I don't know where there's any like potato farms in Nav's game. So what the hell's going on? It's like my um oh I see what happened. I moved over and instead of my fingers being on WASD, they were on ESDF. So I kept turning on and off the freaking flashlight. Because that's the way I roll. There we go. Okay. Alright, so let's put down some spikes now. And I will start from this end. And like so. Two rows of spikes. Two rows of spikes. Gonna get an auger today. That auger is gonna be mine. Oh, yes, it will. It's gonna be mine. All mine. So I was thinking about um, putting a point in a better bartering uh, to make the auger even cheaper and, you know, sell stuff for more. And someone rightly brought up, uh, don't do that, Cage. Because if you do that, it could reset his, uh, it could reset his secret stash. And that is a great point. I don't want to do this. North and south. Yeah, we'll do that. Eh, I'm not really sure how I want to do this, to be honest. These should be going like this. And these should be going like that. And these are repairing. Come on. Alright, so you go like that and that. And then you will go like this. I'm just kind of winging it at this point. Uh, let's get on top of these spikes. All right, so how do I want to do Well, this one would definitely be like this. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Timer, you can shut your freaking mouth. Nobody even likes you. You know that? You know that, Timer? All right, I'm sorry. That was mean. All right. Uh... Yeah, that looks good. None of this matters. It doesn't matter which way these are facing. I'm just wasting time, but you know what? It's fun for me. Now that's a kill zone right there, guys. That is a kill zone. You put a, a shotgun turret up there, like maybe in that corner, right? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a shotgun turret right 
there. And it is just going to freaking destroy. It's going to destroy. Destroy my enemies. All right, so what do I do here? Why can't I see it? There we go. Uh, sure. And then you go like this. Why can't I see it, man? That's annoying. All right, let's finish up these sides first. We've actually got a lot of spikes. That's really good. That means we can use all our forged iron and getting the, the picnic tables. So how long before they nerf the picnic tables? Do you think it's going to take till Alpha 18 or... Or do they not even care about balance at this point? Because, you know, they're working on Alpha 18. Alright, there we go. Alright, so everything that's not in the, the main kill zone has two sets of spikes around it. That was the main... Oh, no, no. Not every place. Come on, man. That's so weird. Alright. There we go. I mean, they have to be facing the right way, or I will lose it. I will lose my freaking mind. Okay. Now let's finish up the other part of the kill zone. Oh, you know what? Mm, I'm making this a lot more difficult on myself. I didn't finish the fencing. Did I bring them with me? Of course I didn't. Why would I? Do you guys see any fencing in there? I don't see any fencing in there. Son of a... Alright guys, let's do this, man. Let's let's finish this up, man. We're going to have one kill zone ready for this Horde Knight. If they come from this side, they are F-U-C-K-E-D in the A-double-S. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're done. It's GG, no re. Game over. You know, nice knowing you. Everything. Um, and even if they don't come from this side, I could drag them over here. So, yeah. I think they're in trouble. Alright, electric fence. Electric fence. And we need to grab this and go inside, right? Right. Let's do it. Okay, go inside, go inside. Uh, which one was that? Was that the one on the right? Crap, I don't remember. I think it was. Uh, that looks about right to me. Oh my god, this is going to be a nice setup. Oh boy. It's all coming up cage. Should I just upgrade this in the middle now? I guess I probably should. I am thirsty. Red tea for the win. All right, so let's get back down there. Let's hook up the other one, and I think we're going to call it a video. I'm going to finish laying down the uh, spikes, though. I need to grab a screenshot. Now, this one's going to be a little bit farther away, so let's see if this breaks. No, that's not going to break. It's not that far away. The biggest challenge with these freaking electric fences and stuff is, like, figuring out how you're going to get to the spot you need to hook them up in. And there you go. There you go. Now what we need to do is put a generator down. Come on. I think what we'll do is we will put a generator down here. Then we'll run the generator out to here. Hook him up to there. Then have, th and that's it. Just hook them up to there. Then they'll go into there and the tripwire. Oh, the tripwire is backwards. It, does it matter which way you put down the tripwire? Like, does the tripwire run in one direction? Like, if you hook up A to B, B has to go to the machine or... All right, guys, now I figured out a solution. I actually figured out two solutions. One would have cost me a lot more work, and I don't know if it would have worked, although I think it would have. And I'm going to go over both of them with you really quickly. All right, so um, basically what happens is the tripwire starts there, comes out to here. The reason I can't do the tripwire from here 
to there is because I have to be on the inside and it's too far and it doesn't work. So I have to go from this tripwire to that tripwire. Now, tripwires on the end are the ones that, that send the power. Um, so basically the power is coming from here. It stops right here. And if this tripwire gets tripped, that tripwire will send the power along the line. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to run this tripwire over here to this, um, uh, to this dart trap. Cause if the zombies are standing on this tripwire, did I hear something? I guess not. Um, if the zombies are standing on that tripwire, it's going to set off that dart trap. Some people are saying uh, use motion sensors. Uh, motion sensors are a little wasteful because like, if a zombie's on this side and the motion sensor's detecting him, that dart trap and that dart trap will both be firing off and it will be wasted ammunition. This is nice because if the dart trap's firing off, it's hitting something because they're tripping the wire that is directly on that dart trap. So if the zombies walk along this way, this way, this is the only dart trap that's firing. If they walk up the middle, the middle is the only one that's firing. And same thing on the right side. So what I did was I just grabbed this trip wire and I came over here and I hooked it up to the, uh, um, uh, to the dart trap right through the arrow slit. Now here's the, here's the other way I could have done it. I could have made an arrow slit block there and then another arrow slit block behind it the one that the um, the dart trap is resting on, and then I might have been able to reach the tripwire, which would have which would have been a lot easier because I could have had the tripwire um, starting here, going to the one on the bottom, and then if it's tripped, putting it up to the uh, to the dart trap. Uh, basically, I have three wires running through right now. Two are two are dart are trip wires. And if I did it the other way, it, I could have only had one. The reason I didn't do it is because I don't know if I can actually reach, number one, although I think I could. Number two, um, it's a lot of work and I don't want to deal with it. And this is fine. It's just an extra wire. You're not even going to see it, especially on Horde Night. It's not going to matter. Um, this is a really nice setup and I think it's going to work just fine. All right, guys. If you haven't enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you are new here... Please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.